welcome back to Redgate Ranch Homestead. We're in the kitchen today and we're making this delicious cake. It is a homemade German chocolate cake with pecan coconut icing. You're going to love it. We make it with this Baker's German chocolate sweet chocolate bar. And if you'll come along with me, I'll show you how we're going to do this. The first thing we need is Baker's German Sweet Chocolate Bar. And we need one and a half sticks of butter. We're going to put this in the microwave and we're going to melt it together on 30 second intervals. Now we'll put our melted chocolate and butter into the mixer. Now we're going to add one and a half cups of sugar and blend that until it's mixed together well. Okay, that looks good. Now the sugar has lowered the temperature of the chocolate. So now we need to add three eggs one at a time. Now we need two cups of all-purpose flour. We're going to sift that together along with one teaspoon of baking soda and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And we're going to sift that together. Now we're going to add our flour mixture one cup at a time followed by one cup of buttermilk alternately. And now we're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla. Now that the cake is all mixed together, I have two nine inch cake pans. I buttered, floured, and I put a piece of wax paper in the bottom to help it release from the pan when it's baking. And we're just going to put this in the pans and divide that about halfway. And spread that out. Spread a little love in every cake you make. Now we've got this beautiful chocolate cake batter spread into both of the pans. We're going to put it in the oven to bake at 350 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. Now your oven may be a little warmer or cooler than mine, so be sure to check it. The best way to check it is the toothpick test. We're going to bake this up and make the house smell beautiful with this chocolate cake. While the cake is baking, we're going to make the pecan coconut icing to go on top of it. And what we need is one and a half cups of chopped pecans, seven ounces of shredded coconut, three quarter cup of butter, one and a half cups of sugar, one 12 ounce can of evaporated milk, two teaspoons of vanilla, and four egg yolks. What I like to do is I like to take the pecans and I like to toast them just a little bit before I make this icing. It just brings out the nutty flavor so much more. And people will ask you, why is yours a little different? Well, it's because we toast the pecans. So we're just going to do that in a dry pan and just give it a few minutes and to bring out all the oils. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to melt that three-quarter stick, I'm sorry, three-quarter cup 
of butter until that's melted. Now we're going to put that 12 ounce can of evaporated milk into the melted butter. I'm going to switch over to a little whisk and now we're going to put the four egg yolks in here. We're going to whisk that Next, we're going to add our one and one half cups of sugar. And that's a half cup. Then we'll add our two teaspoons of vanilla, our one and a half cups of toasted pecans, and then our shredded coconut. Now we're going to cook this for 12 minutes or until it gets to the consistency that we like to spread. And we're going to cook that over medium heat. Let's get ready to put this cake together. We let the icing cool until it is more of a spreadable consistency. And we've got the cake is cooled. I've got the other layer on um, a cooling rack and we'll put it all together for you. Well, here it is, y'all. A German chocolate cake with pecan and coconut icing. This is going to be a big hit because it's going to be a traveling cake. I'm going to take this cake over to some friends of mine that work at a local store, just go above and beyond their call of duty. They work so hard. They're so friendly. They're so helpful. And I just appreciate them a lot. So I'm creating community with a German chocolate cake. I hope you do too. I hope you enjoy this if you make it. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.